Hey back everyone, uh, you will notice that in my Bumblebee video that I have some music courtesy of my best friend Gwen. Thanks a ton Gwen, I love it, do a great job. Anyhow, let's get to the review. Um, as I said last time, the next one is going to be Reveal the Shield Lugnut. What can I say about Lugnut? I can go on and on about this figure and why I love it, but I'm not going to. Uh, just for the sake of time, I know I've had some, I had a comment from someone telling me that I talk too much, so I don't want to talk too much. So anyhow, man, this figure is one big Voyager. It is a Voyager that I have not been impressed with the size of them for a long time, and this is really it right here. He's a huge aircraft, a mix of a bunch of different aircraft. I'm not much of a not that much of a big aircraft nut, so I won't even go to identify where all the parts come from. But to take a hazard, he's got some B-17 parts on him. He's got jet engines. He's got some scoops on here for, I guess, some smaller engines. He's got a tail gun, which implies that he's really big. Um, I don't remember where the angled fins come from. Uh, as far as the deco goes, he is based a little bit off the atomic lug nut with the shark fin, and he's also got rotating cannons down here. On the wings, you can see LU6 and NU7, uh, which says lug nut, and also on the tail as well, says his name. He has a gimmick that's in both robot mode and in jet mode. You lift this up, and it actually fires a missile out right here. And there's another part of it that I'll show you in robot mode. This is part of the Reveal the Shield line. It normally would have a rub sign right on this wing. But I got this one from a Portland Transformers fan, Joe. Thanks a ton, Joe, for this. I love this figure. You are amazing. I owe you one, dude. But I just improvise and put Decepticon symbols, once again, from Repo Labels. Love those guys, too. Let's get right to the transformation. He's very simple. We can actually start by doing his arms first. And the way we do his arms that we can first flip this down, flip it all the way around, take this fin, clip it in, open up his fingers, move him like this, and move him down. Now we can do it for the same for this side. Then for his legs, we want to take this section, Way done. Next, we take this fin right here. We can turn around like this. Uh, the missile likes to come out, so when you're using it, if you don't like losing parts of your transformers, just be a little careful that you might lose the missile. Let's flip this section open like this, and then for a little bit of automorph, it's on this arm. Push in the entire tail section, and you get his head to pop out. Oh, also, um, to kind of get his hump. Let's unpeg this part like this, just raise it up, and then lower it like this. Now with this part, now that we're here, just push them back a little bit, finish them, adjust the head a little bit, bring this section up, up, and in, fold it in like this. Then for the tail section, you push it all the way in. When you first do it, it's going to be a little resistance, and it looks and it feels and sounds like you're going to be breaking it. Don't worry, it's just fine. Straighten them out. The joints on this thing are really tight, which I really like. And then, bingo. Here you have lug nut. 
adjust this camera. It's been a while since I had to do this for one of my reviews. But as you can see, Lugnut is a great, big Voyager toy. Uh, one of the biggest Voyagers in a while, as far as just overall appearances go. I don't have another Voyager handy to give you a size comparison, but he's pretty chunky, pretty nice. Um, oh, can push this in all the way. There we go. You'll kind of hear it click when it clicks into place there. But um, I love this figure. He lacks a little bit in articulation, especially in the arms. The el the shoulder is right here and like this, and that's about it. So, but he does have a fairly decent amount of posability in here. He's got an elbow joint as well. But that's about it for the arms. His knees are double jointed, a joint here and a joint here. It's got a mid-thigh swivel and uh, it's on a hinge and a ratchet right here for his hips, which are really nice. Ankles are on a ball and as you can see, really big feet, so he really supports them. He has a gimmick in this mode, well, two gimmicks in this mode, three gimmicks in this mode. First one that I want to note is that his mouth can talk. His mouth opens and his mouth opens and closes, so you can have him go, "I I love Megatron." If you wanted to, the second gimmick is that both arms has his punch of kill everything, a really satisfying punch gimmick, better than the uh, Revenge of the Fallen, well, the movie Seven Barricade. This one on this one, uh, his left arm is a little stuck. I'm probably going to end up fixing it. But um, it works too. It's on both arms. It's really nice. All you do is just reset it by pushing it in. His third gimmick is the one where I kind of told you about in the beginning with his uh, rear gun. And it looks really weird, but you can go into the back, pull this out a little bit, like this. And then you can open this part up and flip out this gun. Oh, once again, see, it's tough. But as you can see, he has this gun that kind of fits over his head. I really don't like this as even though that it looks like an indirect fire gun, it <laughs> sticks all the way out in the back. And you can see, one of the things I, one of the things that I kind of don't like about this figure, but I'm willing to forgive, is how thin he is. Like, he, he's definitely much thinner than his um, animated one. I know that the animated version, he just gets thinner as he gets down, but when you put his fail, t when you put the um, tail down, as you can see, it helps fill out the body a little bit better. So that's why I don't really like to use that gimmick too much. Um, he can take a lot of poses. Um, he can take the going down to one knee pose. Let's just do it real quick. Bam! There's Lugnut and doing his punch of kill everything pose. Great figure. When you find this figure, well, when it comes out, I highly recommend it. Yes, it does have some problems with the proportions, specific, specifically how thin that it gets down below, but it's a great modernization of Lugnut and I highly recommend it for you. Next up is going to be Generations Blur.